Hey, this is Val Talonheart once again with the Has Been Heroes boss fight video, and this time we're going into the final boss of Run 2, Lightning Ghoul. This guy is a bit of a step up from the first one. And like before, he comes in with statues, but this time they take the form of lightning rods. They intermittently arc sparks across the lanes vertically, and they interrupt attacks if you attack while they're letting out their energy. Unlike the other final boss fights though, there's actually only two phases to this fight. The first phase has three lightning rods, and the second phase has five lightning rods. As before, when the rods are down, the ghoul's going to appear. At that point, hit him with a spell, and you only need two hits to win this fight. The adds are mainly the real danger to this fight, and they come in two forms here. The first form, there's going to be knights, and they have four stamina, and they also have an immunity to lightning, so if you have not been doing well, but unlocking new spells, there might be a chance you have lightning. Do not use them because they will not work on them. If you do have crowd control though, by all means use it. The Monk's Curse of Frost will work very well, and the Hot Potato spell from the Warrior can also work very well, increasing it. And then the second form of add you'll see in this fight are these little midgets with sights. They only have one stamina, and they're also lightning immune, but they only have about 50 hit points, so you can just have a rogue hit them once, and they're going to drop dead instantly. So, they really aren't too bad, aside from the fact that they are very fast, so you have to keep an eye out for them. Now, in my opinion, the more I did this fight, there's kind of a priority of kills in general, at least in my opinion, and I felt that aside from getting rid of the statues that are very close to you so you can actually have some movement space, you want to kill the knights first because they just have way too much stamina. You want to get their stamina down so you can handle them a lot easier. After that, focus on the lightning rods make more space. You're especially going to need to focus on this in phase two because phase two as you see you have five rods and that one rod on the bottom is literally right in the face of the bottom row and you have to get rid of that because they're going to be arcing that lightning they're going to be stunning you if you try going down that center row. They're going to block your way trying to hit all the ads on the side rows. So you have to get the lightning rods down as quickly as possible. Hopefully, if you're fast enough, you can get rid of first three. And you have more than enough space to work done. And then the final priority are the midgets. The midgets die fast enough. If they do get close, have a rogue hit them. Have the warrior stun them. Or if you have one spell that's available. In my opinion, the Bard's a little bit better than the Monk in this fight. Use Riptide. Riptide's going to one-shot them. So that's really all you have to do for this fight. It's it's definitely a step up from, from the Water Goal. Because, because it, all the adds, aside from the Midgets, they just have so much stamina, and you have to play very smart. You have to use your warrior and your rogue to cause a stamina stun. Or, you have to use the rogue's double strike on the bard to do a stun. You want to get the stamina down away from the 4 number. If you can get him down to a 3, you don't have to use double strike as much, and it'll be a lot easier to stun them. And generally, that will make the fight a lot easier. But once you get down to those last two rods in the back, if at all possible, try to get rid of them as fast, fast as you can. Because if you can do that, 
the faster the lightning ghoul is going to materialize, and you're just going to hit him with Riptide, and you're going to finish him. Because, like I said before, this fight only has two phases compared to the one. And once you get past that second phase, it's over. You don't have to worry about the third phase. So, that's basically all there is to it. Um, another bit of a tip here for the fight. I highly suggest that you should try to path your routes through the through, uh, was it, the three zones going through the second run to get as many of the crossroads as possible. You want to try to get as many battles as possible for money. You want to try to get as many spells as possible. You want to try to get as many gear items as possible. Because the more you have, honestly, the easier the fight is going to be. And if you can manage to get any kind of crowd control added to the warrior's hot potato, this, this fight's going to be a lot easier to deal with. Um, the other thing too in this fight, you can see that I have wet potato with the hot potato, and that's capable of causing steam, and that's going to slow down the ads. That's, that's going to be very helpful in this fight. So yeah, um, that's basically what you got to do. You gotta do crowd control. You just gotta keep the stamina down of the knights. Kill the little midgets as they get too close. And break down the close lightning rods as quickly as possible. And with that, you should be well on your way uh, out of run two and going into the next run. And at that point, you will be getting the Luch Door as your next character. And you're going to go into the next tier of bosses, which is... It is a little bit of a jump of difficulty compared to the last two tiers. But they're not too bad once you know what to deal with. But with that, there's really um, not much else to say about this fight. And... It's, it's just a matter of just keeping calm, making sure the ads are down. But with that, this is Rav Talpart signing off, and in the next video we will be dealing with the first boss of the third area, which will be the Fire Lich Tumilus. See you around.